Hi, first video for a very long time. We're having a look at the Anytone AT398 dual band. Just arrived here this morning and uh, very fortunate we've uh, been sent the uh, 001 of the radio, 00001. Here it is, quite heavy, chunky, good thick uh, battery on the back, lithium ion with the uh, pretty firm battery clip. It's completely different, um, I would say, made to uh, things in the past from uh, in the handheld way, let's put it that way. And uh, good menu, up and down with the uh, B and C keys. Programmable obviously by PC. When you do the see, it's got a good instruction manual. You can actually use this. It's pretty well written compared to how uh, they used to be. Scanning speeds. It's got an FM radio. Haven't uh, func haven't figured that one out yet. We have to have a look because it's literally uh, been delivered a few minutes. So uh, not had a lot of time playing around. Comes with the usual suspects, desk charger, belt clip, and as you see with this one, it has quite a decent uh, thick sized manual. As you see they have uh, A, B, C, D, four versions, dual band, dual standby, dual display, version B, version C, version D programming software which we'll cover at a later date amateur or professional uh, use operation modes by programming software as you see use display frequency and channel name tag mode again all uh, all good stuff channel BFO mode, which we're in now. How the battery is installed, pulling the battery, speaker mics, antennas, everything. But much, uh, much better written. Money frequency, how to get the monitor, the scan. I still think it's probably easier with a PC, definitely to do the biz. Uh, this one is 400 to 520 megs. We see uh, set two radios, one VHF. Open it up as a crossband. We'll try that later. See how that. Uh, see if that uh, actually works. All good stuff. Really uh, quite impressive what it can do. Received so far, I would say actually has been uh, pretty uh, pretty good on it from my side. A lot of activity on PMR, and it's got a good, solid. Yeah. It's got a good solid click on the channel change, which is always something that uh, I advocate. I like that. Doesn't uh, it's not flimsy. Obviously, we're just going to have a look around. We'll program. Uh, some proper frequencies into it, but this is just uh, just a quick, quick, quick I guess these are about a kilometer away, roughly. You can run it as they say, uh, uh, single band, so you can have it just running two meters, have it mixed, or just uh, PMR in this case. So we'll be back with more about this later, we'll get it programmed up, do something with the software, charge the battery for this, and uh, come back with uh, a lot more to say. This is just something to have a look at in the meantime.
It is really quite a chunky piece of kit. Well made. Programming on the side as you see. DC in for charging. If you want to, uh, you don't use it in a drop in. Good stuff. We'll be back later uh, with a better quality of video once we get it all programmed and uh, everything else done. So, catch you in a bit. Bye for now.